Hello, ho, ho. Ah, it's Christmas once again, and what better time of year is there to scour the pound shops for festive tat? Well, I say pound shops, there's only pound land left these days. Crikey. It's a wasteland out there, people. But the first item actually comes from a different place, from B&M Bargains, or Bum Bargains, as we call it locally for some reason. Please enjoy the MDMA elf. Yep. This guy's on something, and he looks like he desperately needs some more of it. The Christmas Elf Collection Plush Elf. £3.99. I actually paid £2 then when I got to the till. I think probably because I bought it so close to Christmas and everything was reduced. So let's look at his action features. Big saggy bum so he can sit on things. Velcro hands so he can grab hold of needles drugs and other people's goods to sell for money to get more drugs. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just uh, have a little stare into that. There we are, there's your new desktop wallpaper. Oh, so fucking itchy! Anyway, you stay over there, because we're now off to Poundland, where everything is wholesome and good, and you can lick the Queen's face at Christmas. So, <clears throat> Christmas lols! But not lols as in ha ha ha, lols as in lollipops! Look, it's her Madge Liz herself. Keep calm and suck on this! By Royal Disappointment. Yeah, orange flavoured lolly. Interesting it's orange flavoured, you wouldn't get that from looking at it, would you? Um, nutritional information, it's all sugar. What do you expect? And a very long barcode for people who like that kind of thing. Um, so what the fuck has this got to do with Christmas, guys? Like, it's, it's a lollipop in the shape of the Queen. I don't quite understand the Christmas connection here. I mean, look, here's, here's London, here's a crown, here's nothing to do with Christmas. Ah, well, it is quite beautifully rendered. I particularly enjoy the teardrop tattoo on her face there. One got this tattoo when one was incarcerated at one's own pleasure, and one was forced to shank some Muppet in the showers. One regrets nothing. Um, yeah, well, blimey, I better try it, I suppose. It's very hard. I, I thought it was going to be some sort of gummy thing, but it's rock hard. It really is. You could uh, probably smash through a door with that. I might try it later. Imagine the look on people's faces as that pops through. Here's Lizzie. Um, I can't get the plastic off. Hang on. Ah. Get the teeth on it. That's a good way to ruin your teeth. Right. Oh, man. She is She is unleashed. Dun, 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 dun. It looks like somebody else famous. And I can't quite put my finger on who that is. Anyway, time to lick the Queen's face. And I ain't talking about stamps, boys. Talking about this lollipop. Mm. Man. Yeah. There's a faint, very fake orange flavour. Mostly it just tastes of sugar. It's all a bit unpleasant. Um, I, I, I mean, if you just wanted a load of sugar to rot your teeth with, and you want it to be in the shape of the Queen, well, Merry Christmas to you, my friend! And uh, they did various other members of the royal family. Look, here's Prince Harry. I mean, I wouldn't have known it's Prince Harry if it wasn't with all the others and didn't have, like, the uh, regalia on, but yeah. Kind of looks like a burning Ed Sheeran, which isn't very nice, really, is it? Not particularly a fan of his music, but he seems like a nice guy, and I wouldn't like to see him on fire, even if it is in lollipop form. Anyway, on to some stuff that's actually Christmas. How about Christmas decorations to hang from your tree? And what says Christmas like? A nice little bus from the North Pole of all places. Um, yeah, this thing's bulbous. Wh which way round does it go? It doesn't have a front or a back, it's just kind of a slab of bus. It doesn't actually sit, the wheels don't touch the floor because the bottom is so bulbous, like it's been inflated or something. Also, hate to tell you this guys, buses won't run at the North Pole because it's a load of snow with no fucking roads. Do you see? Do you see? But uh, yeah, that's just uh, not, I mean, I mean, I suppose it's supposed to be a bus from the sort of basic shape. It looks like a child's drawing of a bus or something. All very odd. But uh, I'll tell you what makes a lot more sense. Merry Christmas, cow. Yes, yeah, seriously, it's it's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> At least it was a decoration to hang off the tree, but it appears to have uh, broken already. That's tremendous. Get in there. There we are. The Merry Christmas Moo Cow. Everybody's favourite. Uh, the face is... Uh, Quite, quite interesting. It's not terrible. It's also a very solid lump. I mean, there's like no give in the legs or anything. I'd have made out of some sort of resin or something, I would presume. Um, if these were a pound each originally, they were, I think, three for two pounds when I bought them? Can't remember. 
Um, yes, Poundland now has confusing monetary schemes. Um, yeah, I mean, you could probably buy just like a cheap children's one cheaper and hang it up. But hey, you wouldn't have the satisfaction of having a real Merry Christmas cow for your Christmas milk and your Christmas cheese and your Christmas beef burgers. Right, it's the third one that I really enjoy. Speaking of beef burgers, is that what this is? I, do, I genuinely don't know. There's no hint on the uh, thing here. A Christmas multicoloured burger? It's, it's like a sort of squashed pride flag inside what I think is a bun. I what is this? And why the hell would you want it hanging from your tree? A, you don't know what it is, and B, it's it's just... It's stupidly... What? I, I, I'm going to sum this up with a sound. Oh. OK, I'll admit, I pressed the wrong button there, but the fact remains, this is... I, I just don't just don't understand what it is. Multicoloured burger thing. I mean, what is that? Beetroot? Uh, lettuce? Mustard? Ketchup that's mixed with the mustard? Some, some more beetroot? Well, I, why is it... Let's just stop talking and thinking about that. We're not going to get anywhere. It's going to end up damaging our brains, and we don't need that at Christmas, especially not when we're being watched by elves. <laughs> so, <clears throat> little backstory here. Hey, I'm watching you everywhere you go. Yeah, I see you there. Shaking that ass. Yeah, that's uh, creepy as fuck, isn't it? So elves behaving badly is kind of Poundland's Christmas thing for the last couple of years. It's basically a sort of elf on the shelf type thing. But they call them elves behaving badly and they have a whole thing on their Twitter of um, having fairly risque and quite uh, sassy kind of uh, behaviour going on and lots of uh, innuendo and that kind of stuff. It's all a bit odd. It's got its own website. Look, elves behaving badly. Go check that out. Why not? Uh, elf surveillance dummy child surveillance camera. Elfie reports bad behaviour to Santa with flashing LED light. It's... I mean, I haven't opened it up yet, but I am assuming what else could it be than one of their dummy security cameras they used to do with a bit of um, elf stuff written around it. Imitation surveillance camera, mounting screws and plugs. Well, it comes to the mounting screws, that's something I suppose. I'm not sure what's going on here. These children are behaving badly by levitating. I will watch them and later destroy them. Um, all right, let's open her up. Oh, the sellotape they're using these things today, today, these days is astonishing. Um, raw plugs, screws, marvellous. You can make holes in your ceiling in order to stick this thing up there. That's good, isn't it? And it has a little blinking LED, apparently. I'm not even going to bother with that. It does look quite like a security camera, one supposes. Um, and it even has the little elves behaving badly thing. Right. Uh, so we're going to skip over the fact that uh, having sort of weird pretend creatures staring at your children in order to get them to behave probably isn't the best way of disciplining them. And move swiftly on to the fact that these elves apparently watch you and report bad behaviour to Santa, but the elves are called Elves Behaving Badly. The hypocritical scum. They can behave badly, but oh no, you mustn't, or they'll go and grass you up to Santa. I suggest we find all these elves behaving badly and stamp on their skulls until they're crushed to goo. That'll teach them. Anyway, Merry Christmas. So, just mentioned there, there's quite a bit of sass around the old elves behaving badly, but sass is quite... Um... <laughs> uh, sorry, I've just seen the next thing out of the corner of my eye. Um, it's quite a um, theme amongst uh, Poundland stuff this year. Let us begin with... Rude mugs. Mug off, they're called. This is the only Christmas one I could find. Festive AF. That's right, festive autofocus. That's basically the same as autofocus the rest of the year, but if there's any tinsel, it will tend to uh, focus on that more. No, festive as fuck is what that stands for. Great. Th thanks, Poundland. Slightly rude Christmas mug. Doesn't appear to have been printed that well either. Marvellous. But it does come in a nice box so it doesn't get damaged on the way home. You can damage it later, at your own convenience. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit uh, rude, isn't it? But then you can get things like this lolly, which literally says, tis the season to get shit-faced on it. Well, they've knocked out the shit so you can pretend it says something like, tis the season to get soot-faced. Uh, it's not rude. <laughs> it is rude. What is this? Hard-boiled sweet lollies. What even flavour is it? Oh, don't tell me we have to open it up and make it... Oh, don't want to. Oh, it's going to be horrible. Eh, moan, whinge, bar humbug. Um, yeah. I'm, while I'm trying to open this, uh, which I'm not sure I actually can, 
No, no, we've got it. Um, whew, I need like some really sharp knife or something there. They did have, um, I couldn't find any of these, but they had uh, Poundland Christmas cards that just said on them, um, Poundland Christmas card to, from, and it's just like has a huge Poundland logo on it, you know, as a gag. But couldn't find any, which was disappointing. Did find some other greetings cards though, that I'll show you shortly. But first, what flavour is this? I call it the clear thing they've put over the text. You can see there's like a clear layer over it. Oh, interesting. Mm. Oh, right. It's different to the uh, Royal Family Lollies. It's got a kind of fr generic fruit flavour, that generic, very sugary flute, fruit, <laughs> flute flavour. <laughs> it's got a nice flute flavouring to it. Maybe a little hint of clarinet. No, um, yeah, it's just that generic fruit flavour stuff. More pleasant than the orange, so that's something, I suppose. Anyway, you know those... Uh, Greetings cards I mentioned. Merry Christmas. Santa thinks you're a loser. This card is blank inside for your own message. Gonna be honest, I'm not sure after reading that anyone's gonna open up and read what you've written inside. It's probably just gonna be further abuse. So uh, that, that's a hilarious thing to give your sibling or whatever. And the next one, gonna be honest, takes it a little bit too far, I feel, with Merry Christmas. You have put them in the wrong order. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the nice one then. Merry Christmas, you absolute legend. Oh, isn't that nice? Card is blank inside. See, that's the little uh, palette cleanser at the end. Because the one that goes too far says, nothing for you, bitch. Nice. Nice. I mean, what else could that be? Nothing for you, butch. Yep. A card for Butch Cassidy, telling him he's been a bad boy at Christmas and is having nothing but coal and bullets inserted into his chest. Um, yeah. I, d I don't know. That's, it seems a little bit, little bit, little bit too far for me. It's a little bit too unpleasant, I feel. But hey, quick jump cut insert. Because after filming the main bulk of this video, I went back in a pound land and discovered some of the other cards, including do 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 do. Poundland, Merry Christmas. Look, it's all metallic. Delivering amazing value every day. I paid one pound for this card because I care. One pound. Well. This card is blank inside for your own message. I gotta say, they know their audience, don't they? Um, plus, gotta point out, one pound for one card is actually relatively a large amount for a single greetings card. So there we are. You can look like a posh man because you bought somebody a card that quite clearly cost one pound. Except it didn't, because they were actually uh, three for two, I think, on these. I think you got uh, three for two pounds. Or was it three for one pound? I can't remember now. No, I think it was three for two pounds. I have confused myself with numbers. But the main thing is, you didn't buy it in bulk. It didn't come out to 25p each. Oh no, you handed over that pound and gave somebody the world's greatest logo for Christmas. It's weird, isn't it? Because it's kind of expensive and insulting at the same time. Anyway, there were another couple in there that I thought you might quite enjoy. This one that literally just says, have a crap Christmas on it. Thanks, guys. Not something you want to send to anybody. And the very worst one of the lot. I said about some of the others going too far. Well, this is a bit of a sass overload. Nothing for you, dipshit. Lovely. I'm sure Granny will really appreciate that for Christmas. <laughs> popping pork, bacon flavour, popping candy tastes like. Yep, because apparently we needed bacon flavour popping candy in our lives. I'll admit this isn't entirely a Christmas thing, but uh, I really wanted to try it and it was around the Christmas stuff. More pop, less grunt! <laughs> uh, it contains 20 packs. Great. I really want to see what this is like, but I'm also quite scared of it for obvious reasons. Oh god. Oh, this is worrying. It's like generic, extremely uh, clear packaging here. Nothing on it whatsoever. Mmm. What's inside? We have no idea. Well, I do, because I just... Oh, it smells of bacon already. Oh, that sort of... Oh, that, well, let's call it facon. That fake bacon smell. Right. I'm going to pop all this in my mouth at once and then probably regret it. Ready? Mm. Oh, God, it's horrible. Ah! Oh! Mm. Oh, now it's just sugar. With a slight tang of something. Mm. Oh dear. So, at first, you get this horrible sort of fake bacon taste. It doesn't last very long, and then it just fades out into sugar. 
and obviously it's doing all the popping stuff that popping candy tends to do. Where did I do that? Gone caught my hand on something. Ugh. Wounding yourself without realising. This is the curse of the YouTuber and also everybody else who's alive. Well, <clears throat> we're walking in the air. We're looking a bit worrying. I think our face has been drawn on by someone who's on the gin. Um, that didn't rhyme particularly well, but it is the snowman and the snow dog. Hard candy lollipop. Fruit flavour. Our rings can taste exactly the same as that. I'm not going to open up, to be honest. There was a lot of uh, snowman themed uh, little bits in Poundland this year, but I do feel nothing is going to be... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to take it out, actually, to frame the face properly. It's just too beautiful not to. Oh, yes. There he is. The snowman, as put together very hurriedly by somebody who desperately wanted to be somewhere else, which does sound like every factory job in the world, to be perfectly honest, from my experience. Um, yeah, well... Th there we are. Hey kids, eat your derpy snowman, and then Christmas will cut. Oh, his eyes fallen out. Sorry, kids. <sighs> Blimey, I wonder how much they paid for the license. I wonder how pleased the people who gave them the license are <laughs> with their quality control when it comes to things like that. Answer: They're mostly probably all right, but that one was at the front. To be entirely fair, right? I want something to take the taste away, and back to B and M we have Brussels sprouts. Oh wait, choco sprouts. Look, they're just little balls of chocolate that have been uh, wrapped in tin foil that makes them look a bit like Brussels sprouts. Hey! I just want to eat some chocolate to take away the taste of that bloody... Um... Oh, I've got the popping corn all over the sofa. Oh, that's going to take a million years to hoover up. Right, I reckon I'm going to be going for cheap advent cans of chocolate or worse. What do you think? Um... Oh. Do you know that is very cheap? Yeah, Advent calendar flavouring chocolate, as we say. Doesn't taste as good as the stuff you usually get from Poundland and things like that. Uh, it's considerably more expensive as well. Uh, what can we say there? You should always stick to Poundland, if only for the beauty. God. Anyway, here's a cutaway to something else that I have that I really couldn't not show you. Did somebody say Father Christmas toilet decorations? Of course not. The only time that has ever been uttered was in the factory where they devised and then constructed these things. So, yeah, I mean, if you want bits of Santa sprawled all over your toilets, you could do a lot worse. <laughs> I, I don't get it at all. I mean, maybe you just wanted to sit on the seat and have Santa lick your anus, because, uh, you know, that appears to be what he's up for. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you to whoever gave that to me bloody ages ago. Anyway, you'll be pleased to hear, guys, Poundland really have our back this year. Because they knew this was coming and produced Merry Bin Bags. Six festive bin bags. So you can take all your Christmas shit and shove it in the bin and even be festive while you're doing that. <laughs> what a concept. What an absolute concept. Oh man, they're big old bags as well. Right. Let's, uh, oh, cool, they're huge. Yep. Proper size bin bags, look, with uh, lovely um, pudding on them. Well, <coughs> I look forward to uh, putting everything in that and then sticking it by the bin. What a time to be alive. They've thought of everything. Well, there we are for another year. Merry Christmas to you all, or Happy Festivus, or just have a good holidays and all that kind of stuff. And if you'd like to give us a Christmas present, why not consider backing our lovely film, Ashens and the Polybius Heist, that we are making next year. You can still uh, pre-order sort of basic levels from the crowdfunding campaign. Uh, I'll stick the link up on one of those card things at the end. That'll be nice. Anyway, time for the real festivities to begin. Subscribe for more.